What's going on ladies and gentlemen, Randy here, RTSMobile.com, bringing you a Friday video. Happy Friday. We are playing some Warhammer Chaos and Conquest today. Um, this video is a little different than what you're probably used to. This is not going to be a combat video. This is going to be a video uh, where I uh, talk to you about some of the new items and warlords and whatnot that have been added to the game that are locked behind massive paywalls. And because of those massive paywalls, uh, it's devaluing you know, the money that us mid-level spenders put in because we can no longer compete in any way with the people who can get these, uh, you know, jump over these new massive paywalls. So that's what we're going to talk about. We would like to keep playing this game, but if stuff doesn't change, you know, the, the gaming community for Warhammer Chaos and Conquest is going to start dying out. I mean, it has already, right? We're looking at the last, look at this last Infernal event I just did. I killed one foe. I got rank 1258. So that says to me, if only 1,258 people participated in this event, you know, how, how active is this community? My guess is we have less than 2,000 players that log in every day and are active between all the kingdoms. So this video is devs. Please pay attention because this video is kind of venting the frustrations and giving you ways to fix that and grow this community, okay? So first, some of the massive paywall content, which was recently introduced into the game, has been able to increase uh, uh, mega spenders' stats by more than 150% for certain types of troops, uh, which means for some of us at lower levels, we're already dealing with a 75% you know tier bonus when we're hit by tier five against a tier four. Uh, now we're looking at close to 200% stat bonus from tier five against tier four with some of these new armor pieces that are mandatory paywall locked. Okay, so the first thing we've got. You all saw my Skull Taker video last month. Uh, really great warlord, a little bit overpowered. Long story short, if you don't have 20 million aligned points, you're gonna have to spend at least 100 bucks to get him in an Infernal event. And if you wanna get him, that's only gonna give you Soul Rank 1. You wanna get him from Soul Rank 1 to Soul Rank 5 max level, you're looking at another 500 bucks. So either uh, 600 bucks uh, or, or no warlord, right? Max level. So what does the max level give you? It gives you 20% warband uh, combat bonus, 40% uh, infantry melee damage, 40% corn melee damage, right? He gives he gives a whole bunch of nice stuff. Um, I'm glad he's a strong warlord because he is legendary, but the paywall behind him is, is, is not okay. The next item we've got, Vanquisher Armor Set. Now the devs actually, they actually confirmed in writing uh, when this set first dropped that you cannot get this set in game without spending money. They actually said that. It was confirmed. I'll see if I can find the Discord uh, message and, and pop that open. That's this armor set right here. You go to armor sets, boom. You go to this Vanquish set, that's this really nice set here with a lot of cool bonuses, right? You get in total like 15 or something unique bonuses. The three top bonuses I'm going to mention in this video are you get 10% uh, Vanquish chain damage, you get 285% Vanquish damage, and 5% uh, stamina reduction um, when attacking foes. So those are three massive benefits that are locked behind a paywall. If you want to get Vanquisher set at all purple, six set at purple, you're looking at 5,000 bucks, okay? Maybe with that 5,000 bucks, one piece might be orange. I don't know. But we're looking at five to six pieces purple, maybe one piece orange, 5,000 bucks. You're going to get these massive bonuses, right? The next set that I want to talk about is the set that just came out for region versus region. I'm glad it's a strong set. It's kind of, uh, I like that it encourages PvP, but the paywall behind this set is so high that you're going to have to play region versus region every week for a year to unlock a six set at, at you know, core quality as a free player. If you want to actually, uh, if you want to actually get this sucker to purple or orange, we're talking about, you know, again, massive investment to compete with these other mega whales in region versus region. Probably 5,000 bucks plus again for a purple set. And let's talk about the bonuses you get if you do get this to orange, okay? We're looking at 250,000 warband troop uh, capacity, another 250,000 cave capacity, 20% cavalry health armor damage morale, 20% monster health armor damage morale, 15% undivided health and armor, 15% march capacity, 15% march combat bonus. 30% invader bonus. Now let me let me back you up and just walk you through what that means. If you are attacking an enemy kingdom, you A get a 30% bonus just to all your troops, just to be just because you're beautiful. 
when you're in the enemy kingdom. Additionally, your march is increased by 15%. Additionally, your march combat bonus is uh, 15%. So now we're looking at uh, roughly 60% additive bonuses, right? And let's say you decide to use undivided cavalry. Now you're looking at 35% bonus to health and armor and 20% bonus to damage and morale. So now your cavalry are literally almost a 100% bonus uh, to their toughness and they are uh, like a 75% bonus to, your, to their damage just for being an invader. Additionally, you get 15% uh, increased uh, survivors when attacking an enemy city. So that changes the ratio from 40% survival, 60% dead, or sorry, 40% uh, wounded, 60% dead. Now you have 55% wounded, 45% uh, dead. And once you do, uh, and, and when you're on defense, um, you can have 40% captured city combat bonus. So when you're holding a city in your own region, not invading, you don't get the, the same 100% bonus, right? But you still get a 40% bonus for holding the city. That is huge. That is huge. So almost 100% bonus to your toughness if you're using an undivided cavalry march. And if you're not using an undivided cavalry march, you're still at 80% bonus. You're still at 80% bonus to toughness, 75% bonus to damage. That is crazy. It's crazy, okay? So... In case you wanted to PvE with that with that uh, blinding hate set on, you get 125% vanquish damage and 10% vanquish chain bonus. There are other bonuses in the set. Check my Excel sheet that I dropped uh, for free in the content creator channel and see what that is. The next item I want to talk about, the next paywall item here, we're talking about the best cavalry in the game, okay? Which is cool that they that they drop these new cavalry units, uh, you know, god specific. But now you're looking at the best cavalry in the game um, with uh, uh, a huge paywall behind them. You need 75,000 warp stones to research these brand new units. They drop these brand new best in tier, uh, tier 4 units behind a paywall. A 75,000 warp stone paywall. You got 200 bucks to blow? Go for it. You can't even farm these in game. You can't even farm the items. Whoops. You literally can't even farm these in game. You can't get them. I don't know how I have three. I, it must be from Alliance Rewards, popping Alliance Rewards for the past week. So it, it, it's just it's it's insane. You need a hundred days of ritual, speed ups, and then two hundred dollars worth of warp stones to unlock the new tier four units. Okay. Uh, and additionally, the last thing I want to kind of vent about is the upcoming warlord, the Nurgle warlord. He's going to be really strong. I, I mean, he's going to be great on defense. I'm looking forward to using him. But it's going to cost me $100 just to win an Infernal or rank in the top 50 in an Infernal and get a Tier 1. If I want to get him to Tier 5, we're looking at another 500 bucks. So if I've got 600 bucks to spend, I can now theoretically get the new 25% Sabotage debuff, uh, you know, additional debuff. So that's the Sabotage debuff that you already have in your Battle Rituals for when you're attacked. When you're attacked and you have the sabotage ritual, uh, the sabotage ritual maxed out, enemy units get a 25% debuff when they're attacking you. The warlord's going to give another 25%, maybe more. I'm, I'm, I am theory crafting here. You know, I'm kind of pulling it out of left, left field here, but could be as much as 35, 40%. We don't know. So if you've got a $600 uh, uh, spot to drop, go ahead and play infernal. Get in the top 50, get your tier 1, and level them all the way up. You can get that additional 25% bonus when defending that the rest of us mid-level spenders can't get. So that's the problem with the game right now, okay? All of these, all this new content, you know, the devs, you're taking two good steps forward with good balancing, adding new stuff. That's great. We love it. Then you take three steps backwards because you add everything behind a massive paywall. And you keep uh, releasing new additive materials that just further increase the massive gap between a tier 5 spender and anybody else in this game that's a mid-level spender that doesn't have tier 5 and all this max gear. I could be a, a, a big spender, have tier 5, and not have this gear, and I could be at an 80% stat disadvantage compared to a tier 5 spender with this gear. Okay? So if you've got 5 extra grand to drop, you've already got your way to tier 5, keep 30, you probably spent, you know, 8 to 10 grand to do it within... Took you four or five months, okay? 
Now you've got to drop another five grand, five grand just to compete with the other tier, uh, tier five keep 30s. And that is just, again, massively extending this paywall that we're all locked behind right now. So devs, please, I have removed my credit cards from Google Play. I don't think we're spending any more. Uh, you can see down here, no balance. The cards are off. Uh, I'm definitely not spending any more until this gets addressed. You guys cannot keep dropping massively overpowered gear and lock it up behind a paywall that nobody can access. You are inflating and devaluing all the money the rest of us have put in because my $100 is not worth somebody else's $100 if they can unlock, they can put in you know 10 times $100 and unlock this new gear. There's nothing that I can buy for $100 that can compete with anything, even on any level whatsoever, with what this new armor can give you and these new warlords. So again, devs, please. You guys got to stop with these massive paywall items. You're going to start losing players. You're going to start losing players. You're going to lose player support. You're losing my support. Um, you know, you're going to have to earn it back. Otherwise, the community is going to, going to kind of burn out and die. So please, for the health of the game, we all want to keep playing. We all enjoy this game. You've got to fix these issues. So that's my Friday video today. Um, stay tuned this weekend. I'll be playing some Mobile Legends Bang Bang. Uh, getting some ranked action in with bad luck and lore and Greek. Should be fun. So, all right. Love you guys long time. Randy out.